Welcome to day 962. In a row of working out, it's the daily triathlon training and fitness vlog. My name's Goalie, I just worked out, and I'm here to talk about it. Today on the docket, we had a run and a lift, and today's tip of the day, we're gonna be talking about what High Rocks is, because I have some news for you. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel for all my fitness related content and I have gaming content as well. So if you wanna skip ahead to the tip of the day, go ahead, check the timestamps below. We're gonna dive into the workouts. Tuesdays are insane for me because I have to be in the office on Tuesdays. So workout number one was my one hour and 21 minute run. I know these times sound very specific, but just because they are structured. I'm gonna do it from memory here real quick. I believe it was a 25 minute warm up at a very nice and easy pace. And then I had four rounds where I would go four minutes at a six minute per mile pace. I would then jog for 20 seconds. I'm sorry, 30 seconds. Sprint for 20, jog for 30. Sprint for 20, jog for 30, sprint for 20. And then have a five minute rest where I would jog. That cycle happened four times and then I had a 10 minute cool down. I believe that equals out to one hour and 21 minutes. We got that out of the way nice and early before it got hot because it's Dallas and it was 104 degrees today. Went to the office and then I hit the 5.30 p.m. Alpha Strength class. That's where I'm just coming from. Today we had a very unique challenge because the strength portion of it were handstand push-ups. So I am not very good at them, as you can see here. Uh, I gave them my best shot. And honestly, I was one of the better ones in the class. A lot of people had trouble doing them. And it started off, the, the day started off with sumo squats, sets of, uh, we did four, 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 two. So we were going really heavy into those uh, handstand shoulder push-ups. And then the Metcon portion of the workout was partner based. So one partner held a pair of dumbbells in neutral grip over their head. The time was TBD because it was based on the other partner who was doing 60 jump ropes or 30 double unders, followed by 12 kettlebell swings and eight box jumps. And you alternated back and forth like that for 12 minutes. It was a great functional strength, endurance, cardio based workout. And it's great for athletic training, which leads me to the tip of the day. What is a high rocks competition? I will tell you, I was in on this sport very early and it's really starting to gain a lot of momentum. It's a global fitness competition put on by Puma. And it is a very, very challenging test of strength, endurance, and cardio. There's eight events and you run a 1K in between each event. I don't know the order of the events. I'm gonna give it my best shot here. Reminder, you start with the 1K run and it's ski erg, a thousand meters, a sled push, I forgot the weight and I forgot the distances on these, but follow me. Sled push, sled pull, row, a thousand meters of rowing, burpee broad jumps, sandbags, sandbag lunges, farmers carry with kettlebells and the last one is a hundred wall balls you have to get parallel to the ground in your squats and you're hitting a target up in the air with the dead ball a hundred times it's a very challenging workout but it's an incredible fun experience they do them all over the world dallas is one of the places that they do come and the news that i have is i missed the deadline not the deadline it filled up before i signed up because I didn't plan on signing up, to be honest with you. I have a lot going on. And a week before Thanksgiving, I was like, you know what? The marathon's in early December and the Spartan race is in October. You know what? I'll take November off. But you know me. I got FOMO. I freaked out because it sold out and I didn't get a spot. And then one of my friends said, you know what? You can have my spot. I have a lot going on and I don't really want to do it. I am officially competing in the High Rocks competition in November. So I'm very excited about that. This will be, I believe, my fifth or sixth one. 
I've won my age group a couple times, which qualifies me for the world championships. I haven't gone, uh, but it's it's a really cool experience, and I, I can't wait to share it with you. If you go through my uh, past IRL videos, you'll see some of the uh, high rocks that I've competed in the past. I've made some videos. That's it for today. So thanks for following. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, drop a comment. If you've done high rocks before, let me know. Or if you're thinking about doing one and you have any questions, drop them in the comment below. Uh, and that's it. So I'm going to go eat and chill the rest of the night here, produce this vlog and call it a night. Until tomorrow, my name's Goldie. I am here in Dallas, Texas, and I will see you tomorrow for day 962 in a row of working out and another day of the triathlon training and fitness vlog.